All right, today is 12, 23, 21, and we're gonna put some snow cables on an E350, a 2001 model, and it's gonna head to the snow soon. Today is a Thursday, and Monday should be a lot of snow probably still. So we got this snow cable here. It's called Super Z LT by SCC, which is called Security Chain Company for pickups and SUV. And what model is this thing? 735? Can you show me the box in the back? Yeah. Yeah. 735 and it's ZT. And the tire size that we care about is the 245 75 16. 245 75 16. And what tires is my car? Uh, 245 is his number, 7516. Okay. Yep. So, oh, cool. it even comes with the spider whip, the bungee. And it gives you instructions. So the, do the deal is, we bought this on Craigslist. We only wanted it at $50. And I negotiated down to 40 and then my friend came to pick it up and with one of our charms, for some reason, she gave it to us for free. It's like the best seller and then she gave us a lot of good advice on, on how to get to the snow and things like that. So we're gonna try it on and hopefully it all works out and thank you to that person. So I've been watching a lot of generic chain videos, but I haven't looked at it, this brand, but it should be similar. So the idea is they're identical. And this one says tire side. And then uh, these hooks here, you don't want them, you want them to face the ground and you don't want to face them up because when the tire drives over it, it's going to squish the hook. So always have face down. So this car, I have an option to either backing up to it or driving forward. And since I'm already set like this, maybe I'll just back up. So the idea is just, oh, this oh, is- Oh, we don't need to do that, yeah. Oh, this is different from the one I watched on TV. <laughs> There's a V here. Yeah. So let's talk about this V. What are you thinking mm -hmm. right now? So these are, these connect. You know, the black side is actually, you know what? Black side is should be toward the inside. Oh, and these these even come, it says 735. Yeah. So you know this is the right chain that came with the box. That's the right. So I see tire side, and I don't see tire side. So obviously the tire side is nice and flush here. So when it goes against the wall, the tire, it doesn't damage it and this side you can see if this side where my thumb is if that's touching the tire then that's going to damage the tire so that's that so now we got this v so the hardest part is to loop it around and catch it on the other side during okay. a snow situation yeah let me try to bring the tool yeah okay like this Here's another uh, floor mat, Z. Oh, another one? Two floor mats. So Z just looped it around. And notice that I said this L shape is facing down to the ground. They label it one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six steps. So it looks like step one must be like laying it out. Mm -hmm. Step two is what he just did. He threw it, three, threw it around the tire, and he's doing this part two here. Part three is to connect it like that. So it looks like there's a hook, and that's what, this hook here looks like it's in front of the car. I know. Uh, uh, 
see. Let's see this one. So I see that hook. If anything, it would be like this. It would be like this. Sorry, this is going to be a long video. That's why we try it out first, right? Park the vehicle on level ground and away from the folly traffic. Set the emergency brake. Chains should be That's installed. Drive wheels, rear wheels. Place place chain on the rear wheels. Front drive vehicle. Place on front tires. Lay the cable chain on the ground on a smooth surface. Mark the tire side of the abdominal. No Cross member. Move the chain in a sweeping motion under the vehicle and around the back side of the tire. This, this sweeping motion can be just done by kneeling, kneeling in the front of the tire. Reach behind the tire and position the wheel. Reach to the east side of the tire and grasp both ends of the non-split side cables that is furthest away from you. Pull. This makes no sense. Reach to each side of the tire and grasp both ends of the non-split side cable that is furthest away from you. Pull both ends. Yeah, it makes it doesn't make sense. That's on the outside. See, see, see where the loop is. See how it connects? It would make sense because it's easier to connect on the outside. Yeah. that's the bottom part. You try to reach around, connect the bottom, it makes no sense. Yeah. But then it comes over here. That is on the outside. These are on the outside. But how does it make sense doing this like this and having two to do in the back? This is very difficult to do in the back like that. They start out like that, right? And your black one goes like this. It would be, if you close it, it would be like that. And right here, it shows it's on the outside. The clip on the bottom, there's a clip on the bottom that's on the outside. See this right here? Yeah. It makes Th no This sense. clip looks like it's an inside of the wheel. See how? Oh, yeah, 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 look yeah. at the rim. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. There we go. That makes sense. So if you hone in on part number three, you can see That's that we're way. actually looking from the back. part three is the back side of the tire. So this is not the outside that's facing; it's the inside of it, because you can see the hollow point of the rim. So therefore, that hook is going to be the inside, so it's easy for you to handle. Our intuition was correct the way that it was laid out. This. Oh, you had it right earlier? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So basically, the V is like this now, and that hook is in the inside. And there's only one, one connection. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good thing we figured this out now. <laughs> Eye. There's only one choice there. Yeah. There's like two here. Can you go inside, right? You can go no, deeper in. Matter. You don't need it because you need. It has to be. Uh, it has to be uh, equalized. Hmm. So it doesn't matter where you are. It just needs to pull on it. You could do it this way or the other way. I can't believe it came with the rubbers. Well, if it didn't. It wouldn't make sense, right? No. It's a system. They Some say you have to did. buy the rubber. Really? No. That's what everybody on the YouTube said. This one? Well, I don't know about this model, but in general, uh -huh. everybody who's telling you to go buy this stuff on YouTube says, uh -huh. make sure you click in the other link to buy the rubber. Oh, no way. No way. I've never had that experience like that. Every time I bought, like, these, right? It they, came with it? Oh, always came with it, dude. I get it. Whoa. So we'll drive around and... That's it. I don't think we need to do that one. You want to do that one anyway? No. Yeah, that's good. So, looking pretty good. Yeah, once we roll around, it's just it's auto center it. You know, that's too much it. I think we're good. We don't actually. 
So this you don't have to even drive. It's already split with the V, and you can do it in one spot. Mm -hmm. So if you know how to do this on a quick, it could be like a good minute on a tire. Yeah. So the other minute, your hands are freezing on the other side. Yeah. Wow. It worked out perfect. Thank so here, here's some details again. <clears throat> Make sure that this spot is facing out. This metal clip, this L shape is also facing out. And then I don't know about picking here or there, but Z says you can just pick this one. And then... Um, this just prevent the, the, the chain from coming out more. Okay. It's a lock. Oh, you know what? You're right. I would there's, imagine there's this tensioning. goes in here. Yeah. To get it'll it. It'll be tighter. If you can make it tighter, then I would say make it tighter. Yeah. And so, then, I mean, you know, first we'll probably have to roll it, roll the wheel, right? Yeah. Roll it, see how, how loose it'll get. Then yeah. if we need it to tension it more, we'll tension it more. Okay. It's a, I guess the effect is that you're stretching this thing out more. Yeah. It's brand new. I don't, there's a lot of tension in here already because it's squeezing so much. Yeah. It's taking up any slack. This is just to account for it. Uh, you know, you want it tighter. Okay. But then again, if you're in the snow and the tire is colder, the pressure is, you know, I don't know how much less it is. But. That's true. All right, so done deal. All right. We made it. Thanks for watching. Looks like a, ooh, 11 minute video. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll, 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 I'll post this one up and then we'll do a shorter one. Uh -huh.